evening. Good afternoon, guys. Well, it's literally been so long since I vlogged. I drew a blank on what the heck I'm supposed to say when I turn the camera on. Hi. Good start. Hi, <laughs> how have you guys been? It's been a minute. A how good minute. Long time. Haven't vlogged in a minute. Like a couple months. <laughs> Just been busy. All the things. I've got so much to update you guys on. But. <clears throat> Sorry. A couple of months is good, which means you can look back at some of our old videos and watch them. There you go. Yeah. That works. Sure. Anyway, so how have y'all been since COVID started, since all this stuff started? I think we posted a vlog or two. Like, I think I posted a couple, um, but definitely not like our normal type of vlogs. So we are here and I'm gonna start trying to vlog more often just like normal daily stuff so today we have just been hanging out at the house I cleaned up the kitchen a little bit Zoe's eating potato chips yes she's um, eating potato chips I had a few potato chips but I did eat a really healthy lunch so I could have a few for looking at my lunch I hope that's not your lunch is that really your lunch yeah <laughs> eat something better than that please Aww. Anyway, so Narquise is getting in the bathtub. Aiden was having a little bit of a hard day, so he's playing in his bed with all of his toys. Um, that's kind of been his jam lately. Um, around four o'clock, three or four, he usually likes to go hang out in his bed and just be by himself and play with his toys. So that's what he's been doing. Um, Kizzy is getting in the tub. Narquise. <laughs> Good job doing it on your own, but you're, you don't want to take a cold bath, right? Yeah. Alright, flip yourself around. See? <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Good job. Alright, here. Help you. been doing really well giving himself a bath but he does not do well with the uh, temperature control you just scared the heck out of me because I didn't know you were in here oh my gosh. I came in and Zoe's like staying here eating a banana <sighs> anyway so Keys was playing with the girls states and capitals puzzle we have Aiden's bed open and he has all of his toys <laughs> that have ever existed. Every single one of them. And here comes. Oh, are you ready to get out now? No, you don't have to get out that way. I'll lower it for you. Okay, well, never mind. All right, bud. Acrobat. See, though, that's why I leave it open, though, so he can get out if he wants to. You're silly. I know what you're wanting. Are you hungry again? Are you wanting to eat? always hungry. I know. He it eats. doesn't even matter. He's just always hungry. He I don't so know if it's bored or what. I think it's a little bit of both, but I think it is lunchtime for him, so he is hungry. COVID days, people. COVID days. <laughs> all right. It's all life is is boring. Yeah. yeah. That's a little bit high pitch. Hi, Minion. Mm. All right, buddy. You want to go sit at the table? I'll make you a snack. All right, so I'm just making Aiden a little smoothie. He's got blueberry, banana, and some grapes. We're just gonna blend it up and let him have that to drink. All right, and then we blend. I did use juice, you guys, in case you're wondering about the coloring of the liquid. Oh my goodness. So we always have to hold Mary when we do the blender because it scares the heck out of her. He scares the baby, huh? My friend, well, we're buddies. <laughs> they are buddies. 
I don't know. She just loves buddies. her sissy. She gives me kisses sometimes. She does. They're very slobbery. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> All right, Aday. Here you go. You want your drink? It's a smoothie. Yeah, it's right here. You do it. Hang on, keys. I'm coming. Mama, we finally burped. Yay. Is that good, man? Let me get you. It looks pretty good. It does look good. Hi. Is that good, bud? My goodness. Hey, Rin Man. <laughs> Turned off the light. I mean, on the light. Did you get the light, Lyra? Yeah, she, she hit the light. <laughs> if you guys look back at some of our old videos, you can see that Piper and Lyra look exactly the same. I've even caught myself calling Piper. See, I did it again. Calling Lyra and Piper <laughs> a few times. They do look extraordinarily similar. I mean, it's crazy. Hi. <laughs> she says hi. I also feel like Liren is my most changed baby. Like, she looks nothing like she did when she was a newborn. I mean, you wouldn't even know that it's the same kid. She's big and she's heavy. She is heavy. Aiden, you're just taking your time drinking this, aren't you, bud? I have to hold a napkin under his chin or he just dribbles everywhere. But he loves his smoothies. <laughs> Finish your smoothie. What? Yum yum. <laughs> you, Niran is watching the dog lose track. Mm -hmm. He's all. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cut it off. good, man. Mm -hmm. That's, That's so yummy. Yum. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's a weird laugh. Ha 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 ha. It's like down. <laughs> Like, what? It's like Dawn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Explain that to them. No! I told I told her a story of my mom's one of my mom's boyfriends from when I was a kid. Um, and the way he laughed. It was funny. And ever since it's been like an inside joke between her and I. She'll just laugh funny. <laughs> hey baby. Alright, honey, you can't, hold on, hold on, you can't play with the toy until you finish the drink. Let me see. Good job. Good job, bud. Narkees, I hear you, buddy. You're gonna have to wait a minute. Alright, he finished his drink. Are you wanting to go back to your bed to play toys? <laughs> He's like, alright, take me back. I want to go play toys now. <laughs> Just needed some sustenance, huh? You can come. Come on. You can come with mama. We can go back and play toys. That's fine. That's fine. What are you doing in here, man, mister? Are you putting the states together or did Zoe do that? Jack Jack did that. You did that, man? You got Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee together. I didn't even know he could do that. Yay woot. I did not know that was one of his skills. Woohoo. You gonna get it? I can let it down. Look at him. He's just like, nope. I got it. I'm just gonna scale on in there. I can fold this down for you, love. Here. Wait. Okay. I, Aiden, if you get down, I can fold it down for you, love. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, that. My, really? <laughs> he just locked that side. All right. Go on. I see you pulled your sheet off of it. All right. Go on. You can go play toys. You can go play toys. They're all in there. All right, well, I'm gonna close this then because I know you can get out if you want to. Good? That's some beautiful music. All right. All right, so this is what I do for Narkees. So he likes to get himself out of the bath and dry himself off, but I do make sure that he has his pants, undies in the middle, shirt on the left, and he will dress himself. Took care. Most of the stuff. It's okay, close your eyes. <laughs> Alright. Good job. You scrub good. Did you scrub good? I had a child one. You did scrub? Just yes or no? No. You didn't scrub? No. I'll try. Here's a sponge. Oh, 
There's a sponge. All right, scrape your body, and then I'll go get your towel, okay? Okay. Okay. Keys has gotten so much better. He only needs minor prompting and like kind of like little reminders here and there on what he needs to do. But in terms of like physically doing it, he's got it. He can pretty much do it himself. Do you need help out of the tub? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Hi. 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 There it goes. Hello, Rin. Hello, Rin. Rin. Hi, guys. Oh my goodness. All right. So, um, he does usually need help out of the tub. He gets in the tub just fine, but getting out of the tub when he's wet and a little more slick, I definitely help him. In a little bit. And Piper just got out of the shower. Mm. How you been? Good. You have any updates for him? Um, I got rats. What you like <laughs> they them? know you got rats. But they never actually got to see them. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's go show them your rats real quick. Uh, the baby is coming. Are you coming, Liren? She loves him. All right. Finally, I get to show you guys. I know, right? I feel like we have just been slacking. We've been a bunch of slackers, huh? Yeah. Come on, Jack. You can come too. Excuse the mess. That's where we're in plays. All right. Here they are. Jack, come up here with us, bud. No, 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 no. Look at the way they just jump. So this is, oh, be gentle with them. I am. This is Snowball. His toenails need to be cut. Yeah. Scraping it. That's too much Snowball. Skin. And the other little rat is Phoenix. Yeah. And they're both doing really well. And they are, they're doing surprisingly well for what, but sir, the rats, sir. they were very, very sick whenever we got them. They were extremely sick. They were meant to just be fed to snakes, but if the rats are sick and the snakes are eating them, the snakes are gonna get sick too, and it's just gonna go like COVID, just spread. <laughs> but it's not going What are you doing, sir? <laughs> sir, what I'm in the bad. world are you doing? No, okay, hold on. Keep in get mind, you just had a bath, so you don't want to let him get in your hair. Can you get him off of me? Yes. Mm. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay, no climbing. Anyway, no they are due for a house change. You guys, she changed this cage five days ago. These rats need a cage change probably twice a week. Um. And this little guy right here, this is Phoenix. He's so That's Phoenix. Phoenix is the mischief maker. Yeah. Stop. No, no. They're both sweet, though. They're sweethearts. Anyway, they've been to the vet. We spent a lot of money on the sweet little rat babies. Uh, they were on antibiotics for two weeks. They were on anti-pooping medication. All of the things. So they are doing very, very well now. Can I show them my guinea pigs? Sure. Okay. So I clean to. my room too, so it's fairly clean. Yep. I mean, my dolls are on the bed, but you know, that's where I play. Hello, Lirin. <laughs> I guess we're just doing like a house tour now. <laughs> <laughs> I like my cream soda. So yeah. There's my piggies. There's always piggies. The piggity jiggies. Black one's goosey. Goose goose and hammy. They're doing pretty good. I also just got a, like, a lot of brand new clothes. You did? Yeah, my mom actually, I went to visit my mom yesterday for like the first time since this whole COVID thing started. Uh, my mom's high risk. So she's been really, really taking things seriously, which is understandable, but she gave me a ton of uh, my clothes. bags of clothes for my Zoe. Clothes. Yeah. So Jack, come up here. Jack does this thing. If we walk away or like go somewhere where he doesn't want to be, he will just sit down and start screaming. We're working on it. Anyway, this room's a little bit of a mess. I'm working on laundry. This is just life, you guys. This is just real life. Um, and of course, kids have pulled out toys. But this is our homeschool area in progress. Um, so obviously we need curtains curtains um, i'm gonna get curtains for up here when i get curtains for the boys room yes that's happening i just have not been out of the house um and i'm scared to like order them like i really want to like see the curtains i get in person i don't know anyway we're going to paint up here this wall 
this wall and this wall are going to be painted and yeah make it look like a homeschool area this is zoe's desk this is piper's desk yes they're both super messy right now we have not officially begun school yet so all right and while i'm sitting here i'm just gonna tell you guys what our plan is for narkees and aiden for the return of school i also first want to say i have absolutely zero judgments whatever you are deciding to do for your family whether that be you're opting to homeschool oh, no. continue distance learning or if you are returning to public school no judgment but for us we are obviously going to be homeschooling um our girls were already homeschooled before this virus happened they are not being homeschooled because of the virus this was already in place prior to this however i'm also homeschooling narkees and aiden and that was a really difficult decision to make like that was super super hard because until about a week and a half ago i 100 percent was going to send them back like 110 percent however um, after speaking with his teacher and after talking it over with my husband and learning what the new um, guidelines and things were for school, after learning what the guidelines were for them to return to school, like just the safety guidelines. Just the COVID safety guidelines for special needs children going back to school. I didn't love it. Um, I didn't love that there weren't a lot of options. Um, I'm concerned with Aiden because he is very, he has a lot of oral input that is part of his sensory um, issues. Like he is constantly, this child is literally begging to go to bed and I can't put him to bed because we have to leave to go to a chiropractor appointment. Anyway. Um, Aiden's thing is oral stuff. He's always putting things in his mouth. He's licking things. He's touching things. That's just one of his times and that's what he does. And there's no way for any of us to stop him from doing that. So keeping in mind the fact that my child, regardless of what anyone does, is going to lick everything he touches, every object around him, every person that comes near him, it just did not seem wise or smart to send Aiden back to school um, when he is a risk factor not only for himself but for his teachers and for his classmates. Not to mention bringing something home to his siblings. It just didn't seem fair. And some of the... Yeah, I see that toy. That's a cool toy. Um, and some of the safety guidelines that they have. I just don't feel like it's going to be an environment that is going to be beneficial for Aiden. So we're going to homeschool him. We are also homeschooling Narkees because of the same type of reasons that it's just, this is how we feel safe right now. And this is what we're going to do. Narkees has a surgery coming up at the end of October. Um, the surgery he was supposed to get in May that was um, postponed and he did not know he's he's a risk factor you know like he can't get sick if he gets sick or gets covid or any type of illness you know this could delay his surgery again and that's not a good thing so so yeah that's the plan all my kids are going to be homeschooled now listen i will say narkees and aiden are not going to be homeschooled forever this is not a permanent solution we are taking it nine weeks at a time Sem a semester at a time um, they're going to stay home the first semester. I will reevaluate with his teachers and we will see what we come up with and they might can go back in nine weeks. It's just initially we are going to homeschool them. They are going to participate in the distance learning via their school. My child is so loud. I apologize. Um, but yeah, they're going to have their therapies and all of that type of thing. But this is what we have decided and this is what we feel safe doing right now and it is what it is and it stinks but i feel okay about it i'm really sad about it but i feel okay about it because i know that this is what needs to happen and i also know that um, both narkees and aiden's teachers will do anything and everything that they can to provide resources and everything for them at home um so we'll make progress. We've already made progress with Narkees. He does so much of his things on his own now. I mean, he really is doing stuff on his own. What? Can I meet with you? 
Sure. So, in our keys, he gets in the shower by himself. He will get down and go play blocks by himself. He will. He turns clean the up. water on and off by himself. He will clean up his toys all by himself without anyone asking. Yep. Him. And he asks quite frequent, right frequently to come upstairs and do laundry. Yep. Or do dishes. Mary got the hairbrush. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Um, he can make his bed. Um, sort of. He, he tries really hard to make his bed, um, which is important. Um, he, I'll just turn it around because Zoe just <laughs> lost interest in telling you guys. Um, she feels the bumpies and she likes it. Yeah. Um, he dresses himself, and I mean dressing like he puts on shirts, underwear, pants, socks by himself. Um, and can take them all off by himself. Um, he puts his dishes in the sink. He will put his plate on his lap and he'll wheel his dishes to the sink. He'll wash his hands. Um, he will, oh goodness, what else does he do? He'll ask for a drink. He'll bring his cup to the kitchen for me to fill up. He helps me make coffee. Like he loves to help make coffee. He'll even like scoop up the grains and he'll count. Just a lot of basic life skills um, that he's learned how to do completely on his own during this whole COVID thing. Um, he was already doing a lot of it, but he needed a lot of assistance and a lot of reminding and a lot of prompting. Um, but now he does most of this by himself, which is amazing and really good for him. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Homeschool initially is what's happening. Um, and it's so loud. And again, it's not forever. I am not planning to homeschool Narkees and Aiden forever. They have so many resources through the public school system that they so desperately need. Um, so they will be going back as soon as we believe it is a safe environment for them to do so. Anyway, I'm coming back downstairs because I have to get stuff together for us to leave the house. Let me see. Oh, good job. I think you got your britches on backwards, though. Sorry. You did. You got your britches on backwards. What? You did pretty good on that. I tried some that up. This is the, you know, I can't. this is the only I thing we struggle with is him getting pants on the right way because this is the back of your pants. Sorry. It's okay. You don't need to be sorry. You know how to fix it. I need big pants. Yeah. Switch your pants here. I'll help. All right. I helped him flip his pants around. That's the only thing he really mixes up is getting his pants backwards. And sometimes he'll get his shirt on backwards, but I mean, he can get them on. So we call it a win. Also, this is dirty because it has coffee in it. Um, but the Contigo cups with like the spout, the best cup I have found ever for an Arkees. It works wonderful. It doesn't spill. He can hold it on his own. He can open and close it on his own and it is not a sippy cup which is huge because for the longest time the only type of cup that he could use was a sippy cup and he's 16 so that was definitely no longer an ideal solution anyway i'm going to get bags together for the kiddos so that we can leave and i'm going to vlog more often you guys i'm back i'm going to start posting videos i will do a little explanation of like where we've been and why i've taken such a long break and kind of what's been going on um but long story short just needed some time to focus on mental health what oh no buddy i'll go get them for you don't worry about it um, um long story short i just i needed to focus on mental health i needed to deal with postpartum depression and some other things that i had going on and that just required all of my time and emotional energy so that's where i've been I'm feeling a lot better and i will talk more about that in coming vlogs but for now i'm going to go ahead and let you guys go i hope you guys are all doing awesome i really have missed you guys i'm also sorry the comment section is still not available again not my choice if you do want to communicate with us head on over to our instagram i'm throwing a drink head on over to our instagram um or our tiktok and talk to me there what does that even mean 
Have you guys ever, hold on, I'm gonna try to cover this up. Have you guys ever, look, it says, you can't really see it, it says Area 33. I'm not answering that. I don't know what Area 33 means. I don't know why that sounds, that's creepy to me. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Again, head on over to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook if you want to comment um, or just talk to us. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Don't forget, always live to inspire. And our key said he loves you guys too. Bye guys. <laughs>